hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys is doing absolutely great today i want to share with you how to make this birthday flyer exactly like this but before we start let's check our intro Decography skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. So without wasting much of our time guys, let's dive into today's tutorial. So the first thing to do right now is to uh, open our Photopea website. Then you click on PSD file. After clicking on PSD file, you will see a lot of uh, templates like this. Scroll down and check the one you want. For instance, I want this one at the middle. So after clicking on it, then you see the little picture, click on it as well. Then you wait for it to load. After loading, click on the layer to open it. Then the first one, double tap where you saw T. Now tap on it, edit it to your own desired test. So you see my own. So after doing that, then you click on the layer and you hide the background. Go back there. I want to change the font now. So you can type the font you want at the top. You see the name of the font. Then you can type the name of those fonts. After I got loaded, you go back. I mistakenly hide the layer. You unhide it again beside that test. Unhide it. Now it's come back. Check it. Then you can see I've checked the name of the test today. The font. Then you go back. You see the background. Then you hide it. Now click on the file and click on export as a PNG. Save. Now we are going to repeat the same process for the day. Happy birthday. Now I will tap on the T again. Go back. Then tap on it. Edit it. Delete everything and type birthday. After typing the birthday, I don't need to change the font again. I'm going to the file and go to the export. And then I will save as a PNG. Just tap on the PNG. Then it will bring the save. Save will pop up. Click on it and download will pop up. Then you save it. Hope I'm not fasting. So now that we have the two save, then go back to your pcl app so this is my pcl app then i want to select uh, the kind of a background i want to use but before that i want to import the image i want to use all the test i mean all the uh, i mean the image i want to use so i've selected the image as you can see i will make sure that uh, sorry i mistakenly select the wrong image well let first of all select the kind of a size we want so after that we we'll go to the shape i mean to the gallery then import the, the, your own desired image so I have the one I've cropped before, which is this. Then I position it to the center. Then you 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 you, you zoom it out a bit. Then move it to make sure that uh, it go up than the bottom. So after that, make sure you use your relative position. So use your relative position to position it very well. I've already turned it. What I did was that I turned it to the right instead of the left. Then I will delete the one at the bottom. I'm not performing magic here. I look at it that if it face the, I've locked the one I want and I hide it. So I prefer it to face the right. So now I'm going back to my gallery. Getting to the gallery, I'm going to bring the two tests that I uh, uh, I save from the photo P. So I'm going to position it at the bottom of it. Then we need the uh, gradient and order to use here. So you need to find the perfect place to position it. Everything will seem good. So bring the birthday as well and position it exactly the way I'm doing it. So the background needs to be selected first. So I want to try the gradient. Whether the gradient will be able to cover the half of the picture. So after it's covered, then I can use the background and everything will plumb. You need to do extra work here because of the nature of the picture. So I'm just trying to adjust to make the 
gradient blend with the image color so just scroll it then you see at the end of the day we are going to bring out the professional we are going to do a professional work here I'm trying to blend the hopper part to make it uh, blend with the picture. Then you can see, I have to triple the color instead of the two because you might be looking at my own, but I decided to remove it to make it two. So now that it's two, let's see how it work. I wanted to use the background to see how the background work first then i'll position that one on top of it then you can see the background is actually wet then everything is blending so i'm not done yet then at the end of the day i'm trying this i have another method where i do i use a sticker click on the sticker then the whitish you see like a, a a kind of a shadow will just pop up then you can use it to blend as well and that is what i i'm going to use after trying that and then i don't see the professionalism in that so give it a color then you don't click mark after that you tap on the screen for it to retain otherwise it will be it will disappear so you have to be copy you copy you are going to be recopy and reposition it until when it's blend together with the background And when you look at it critically, if you are observant, you discover that it's uh, indirectly creating another color. But don't worry, I'm going to blend everything there. Just be watching the steps. Now, if you are too observant, you discover that there is another color being created under this. That's why the file will position the text on it. Yet, I can still perceive that. And I don't want that. I want the color to be rhyme and blend. So right now, the next thing you are go I'm going to do, I'm going to tap on that. Uh... You can see. So the gradient I first of all created, I'm going to position it. I position it on top of those stickers for it to rhyme the color. So I'm going to shift them down so that it will not create another color for that. So right now, I'm trying to blend the gradients. So blend the gradients. The color should be rhyme. Everything should be rhyme. Then you can see, the lower part, the color has not been blended yet. There is another color created entirely. So now just be looking at the trick there. So I'm going to make another sticker, this white sheet sticker, I'm going to double it, then I'm going to position it there to make it blend. Very good. Then you can see the work. So now, 
the next thing we are going to do we are going to reduce the opacity then you can actually see the magic you can see so it's not hinder click on the layer then we are going to hide some then uh, the next thing to do is to go to with the right up we are done with the basic things and we are able to form a shadow so now what i'm going to do is to crop an image exactly like this i want to try something whether it can work No, 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 it won't. I guess it will not work. Let's see, let's see. So let's go with the uh, uh, test. So we have. Uh, Let's see, cut C by <laughs> so you put whatever the test you want to put, you put it at the bottom. Then we are going to choose Letty fonts. Then we are going to give a spacing between those. Uh, in between the alphabet let me change it to uh, long life and prosperity then the name of the uh, 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 celebrant will be at the top so it will be joy happy birthday which already which we already you see when something like this happens just go to recover or to save and save the next the first one then you should be able to retrieve your work then the present work will be disappear you go ahead and do it I believe that trick is well explanatory to people. So let's put uh, long life and prosperity. So it will now, I will now put the name of the celebrant at the top. It will be, let's take it for instance, this is joy. It will be joy, happy birthday, long life and prosperity. I think it will cool. Let's use Latif font. Latif font. This cannot be okay. Let's try. I want to see whether this can work. Or a Goa font. So let's use Latif font. This is a Latif regular. You can just search Latif. L A T W E E F. I mean, L A, sorry. L A T W E F. Latif regular font. Regular. R E G U L A R. Font. F O N T. Just search it on Google, then the first one, it will be the first one you will see over there. Then mm -hmm. get it downloaded and uh, use it. So you have to give a space, much space in between those alphabets. Position it, then you give a little space as well at the top where the name of the celebrant will be. Then it will make it rhyme. Why do I decide to use white? Because I've used white as the background, as part of the background blending. Then the other color was tap from the skin of the lady and the, the cloth the lady is wearing just to make uh, make it to be uh, uh, to make the color balance so we have i want to see whether we have richer yes let's say rachel so you can see the name of the celebrant is at the top where we have rachel happy birthday long life and prosperity this is how you can just make it so this is how you can just make a simple birthday flyer thank for watching may god bless you